Hello there! And welcome back to another video! This week I'm going to be doing a video that I actually did around three to four months ago. It was in May of this year and it was the idea of grabbing an old illustration and trying to fix it in around 10 minutes. Or well, actually not around 10 minutes, in exactly 10 minutes. So I've got a timer on my phone and I'm gonna in post add a timer in real time to put on top of the screen so you guys can make sure I'm using like 10 minutes exactly and the timer is going to go off and sound off anyway so but quickly before I start the timer and start stressing out because as soon as the timer goes on it's really stressful and I remember this from last time but I wanted to introduce the illustration and talk about some differences that are coming in between this time and last time that I did this challenge so last time what I did was I grabbed the flat under finished PNG image of the illustration that I was working on and this time I'm going to be doing not that I'm grabbing the Photoshop file of this old illustration this illustration is from June 2014 it's an early illustration I did of my character Rowan and even back then I wasn't too happy with the way that his face came out I was trying to do like lower face perspective but I wasn't able to make that work like throughout the illustration so there's a lot of room for imp improvement that I can see here and also just the fact that there's a, a base that's a picture that I pasted into the back of the background and like that's I wouldn't do that these days so I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement but I did decide to grab the Photoshop file because I didn't really want to when I do all my liquify and warping stuff I didn't want to mess with the uh, screen reflections that are on top of everything and I feel like you know what that's not the point of the challenge the point is to figure out under pressure how quickly I can showcase my improvement not necessarily fighting with elements of an illustration that I chose so that the reason why I'm using the Photoshop file is because I want to just kind of hide the screen reflections of this image and then bring them back at the end and not have to have them all like wavy and wonky because of all the traf transformations I'm planning on doing but yeah basically 10 minutes on the clock anything in Photoshop at my disposal to try to improve this image after over five years since I've done it so in three two one start all right so the first thing i want to do is to remove these reflections from here and i do have the original flattened on top of here but i also want to just duplicate and merge the entire character and the reason why i want to do that is because i'm just going to go straight into liquify so one of the negative aspects of this is that the transparency in his mesh is going to show through as like it's not transparent anymore but that's okay, we can work with that. I'm just, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Okay, I need to make it so it's like more worms eye view sort of thing. Oh, this is so annoying. Ah, <laughs> uh, everything's like not really, okay, wait. No, why? I feel like, no, let's just enter that and then I'm gonna isolate the face away from what I'm liquefying. And I'm gonna just select it and then I'm gonna feather it select modify uh, this is really stressful by the way it is okay and then i'm going to select into this and then i'm going to liquefy that because i want it to look more like we're looking at him from above and the real way to do that is to show the curve oh not the fist oh also i need to like really because my idea for this character was that he had really long limbs but they're too long and they're not really shaped correctly are everything about this is horrible and especially if you're looking at something from above in theory like it's kind of more compressed vertically and I did not compress it at all okay so how are we looking different okay that's a bit better already uh, what else do I want to do I want to shrink his torso quite a bit so I'm just gonna drag that down all right where are these reflections from ambience I guess the ambience I don't know I'm kind of confused and then I'm gonna have to paint over it and then another thing that I wanted to paint over is his legs they would be tucked behind his thighs so this whole thing bye you're gone we don't need you just his knees oh that already looks so much better but I need to make it so it has more contact with the floor how are we doing on time okay seven minutes 50 that's all right that's manageable his head is horrible I don't know what to do with his head uh, I kind of feel like I have to tackle it because if I finish this and the head still looks like crap it doesn't matter what his legs look like need to figure it. okay so liquefy this I liquefy my old friend so we are wanting to get I might just erase his oh his ear should be like up here that should be like oh this is horrible 
Okay, I'm gonna paint over his nose and just start from scratch. Do I have my brush that I want? Yes. So we're gonna just like go ham on this. Like goodbye, 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 goodbye. Okay, now how do I fix this? I feel like I should- why did I make a separate layer? I should have just merged it to begin with and his neck is really skinny. That's a problem. We need to fix it. How are we doing on time? Six minutes fifty. That's all right. We've got time. We've got time. I remember last time there were so many things that I wanted to do, but I just ended up getting confused. So when you're in, oh, that thumb. Oh, I'll erase it later. That's messed up. That's also messed up. That's okay. We can fix this. It's all right. It's all right. Does he look angry? Does he look sad? I wanted him to look sad. So we're gonna go like this and like that. And this, the curvature of his head is really messed up. Okay, his head's also too tall and too big. And maybe if I shrink his head, his neck won't look as absurdly large. And his hairline, oh my god, his hairline's not meant to look like that. This is my character Ryan, by the way. He was one of the first characters that I created um, after doing my first very Mary Sue self-insert type character. So is that it? Is it, it? I'm gonna just try to sketch out his... Okay, I feel like that's better, is it? Yeah, sort of. Um, I really should just like paint over his entire face. Okay, now I'm gonna start on a separate layer just to, what do I want? I want to make the brush more this. I remember last time I did this, I was spending so much time messing around with the brush, which was like bad news bears, which didn't really help at all. This line here doesn't need to be here. And then anything that I want to like keep, I can like, what, like bring back or whatever. So his nose, should go like this and his mouth should go like this should it i don't know i'm confused how are faces how do faces work i feel like his eyes are too big is the thing okay if i were to sketch this from scratch now we're just to make his face white do i have time for this five minutes okay i guess i do sort of this is just to like have a blank slate and to figure out like some guiding sketches maybe that would help so i want this is, a, this is a flat layer. So I want his eyes to go like that, his mouth to go like that. So his nose was correct-ish this way and then his eyes should go over here. But then they're really like, his eyebrows should go on top of it. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. That's the question. His eyebrows should go really on top of it. And then his mouth should go like, is this too far? Maybe if I just go like that. Yeah, if I go like that, it's more in, tune do I like it I'm just confused I don't know if I like this at all uh, I feel like his nose is too pointy now but his eyes are roughly in the right place in the right size so how do the eyes that we're working with compare to that okay so can I liquefy this or do I need to redraw it I feel like I should redraw it I feel like I should redraw it I feel like I should do that so let's bring back this brush let's bring back that size thing and let's just grab <laughs> dark colors and then I'll fill them in after with the white oh can we turn the opacity down on this and what is this this is the face right so I'm sorry if I'm not making much sense that this is like a very stressful number one stressful time okay the tears the tears can stay the tears can go that way so the eyebrow is meant to go up into here this one is really off and I'm we're gonna have to forget that he has piercings for right now because no way am I getting those in with this time constraint. And what what color is eyes? They're brown. Can I grab? Is he looking at us in my new one? Yes, he is looking at us in my new one. Okay, I feel like this is kind of have to be what I do. I need to erase some of this. And just add his hair and we're also going to forget that he has pink oh my god i have three minutes left this looks nothing like it's meant to i'm gonna i debated when i first did this one about doing a version of it with 15 minutes and i really think i should have gone for that if i was going to repaint a whole face instead of just liquefy and transform it oh my god okay why, why don't we just go hard brush and then sketch out <laughs> what it's meant to look like i need a black color <laughs> this I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this. I thought I was prepared for this. I was not prepared for this. Um, and we want all this to be white for the tears, and that can be skin color. And eyebrow can go up here. And this eyebrow can go up here, and I can go like that. We can hide away the rest of his eyes, and then I'm gonna grab this color. 
to, for his lips and for his nose. And then we're just gonna like not shade it <laughs> and hope for the best. Oh, that does not look good. That does not look good at all. But we're gonna merge and duplicate it anyway. And then we're gonna go back to liquify. And then we're gonna hope that liquify hurries up because I've got two minutes left. And this is not just two minutes worth of work. And then we're just gonna bring everything here down. How's that? I feel like I had the same problem the last time I did this where the head was just too tall. Too tall. Oh, right, now his hands are massive. I get that the hands are like meant to be closer. Oh, right, what is like? What am I doing? This is like horrible. I don't recommend. Oh my god, a minute and a half left. I don't recommend this to anyone. By the way, it's super stressful. I'm gonna die early just because I've done this challenge. His head looks nothing like that. Okay, we need to paint on top of everything to get his head to look right. Oh, brush my end. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. And this goes like that, and that goes like that. Whatever. We're alright. Oh, his face is so wide. Why is his face so wide? Okay, we're gonna really... No, wrong layer. Oh, and you'd think I've been doing this for years and years and years. One minute left. Oh, okay, that's, that's improving. It's, his jawline is going to high up, and this goes like that, and that. Okay, this is starting to look like something. He's not grimacing like I wanted him to grimace, but... Okay, now we're gonna go all liquify again. Did I erase his legs evenly? Yes, I did. Okay, neck and perspective. What are we doing? 30 seconds. Right. Okay, shadow on the ground. Shadow on the ground. Shadow on the ground. Hello. New layer because I don't know what settings I've got that layer on. Brush. Let's get that brush and then a black. Oh, 20 seconds. Oh, I'm really freaking out. I'm really freaking out. No, wrong. Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to turn that. No, not that. I turned it too far down. Okay, and then. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I felt like I got nothing done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to uh, multiply and reshade everything and his arm is all wonky. I don't feel like this was an improving in all illustration. Can I just do one thing? Can I just do one thing? Can I just do... Oh. Uh, I, I know that's cheating. I know that's cheating, but I just couldn't. Okay, let's do the before and after. I mean, see, all right, if I were to bring back everything, okay, not everything. Okay, no, that I did want to get rid of. So, what was it? The reflections, the ambience, no, that can't be there. No, that's sketch lines, no, yeah, the only thing I can bring back is the reflections. And that was already there. The breath? No, we're keeping that off. Okay, so, let's do the side by side. Definitely not got the ambient and the fact that the multiply thing turned off on the mesh shirt Not the best looking thing. It looks kind of like a stroke Around it rather than something that's kind of transparent. You can see past it. It's definitely not dark enough because the The like ambient layer interrupts Everything else, but I mean I feel like it's something I like the proportions better the hand is still absurdly large, but we'll just blame that on proximity, but then the forearm is still too long for that to be proximity. Because if the forearm is going forward enough for the hand to be that much larger, then it should appear that much shorter to us. But yeah, I mean, 10 minutes, I'm not mad. I'm really not, but well, that's part of the challenge. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried to do this at all in your drawing experience and how it went. And yeah, tag me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever if you've done this challenge because I would love to see if anyone can do something better in 10 minutes. Well, obviously, I bet there's a lot of people that can do things way better than me in 10 minutes on their old artwork. But if anyone's got better luck working under the pressure, I would love to see it. But 
yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my channel for the first time that I did this, which was equally terrible and equally stressful, and I'll see you all next week.